okay so uh, the next language is uh, w such that number of a in w are equal to the number of b in w that means is if summation is equal to a comma b the number of a's and number of b's should be equal now it does not mean that number of a's and number of b's should be you know uh, continuous they can be non continuous also for example the strings here can be a b can be there b a can be there epsilon can be there we can have a b b a we can have a b a b we can have b b a a we can have b a a b we can have a b b b a we can have a b a a b b and so on so in every string the number of a's should be equal to the number of b's now when the number of a's should be equal to the number of b's in this case you can clearly see that we are not expecting any continuous run of a's or any continuous run of b's when i'm saying continuous run of a's means the number of a's should be continuous there should not be any break between them it can happen that they may not have continuous number of a number of a's for example if the string is a b a b a b a b in this case between two a's we have a b so it is not a continuous run of a's or continuous run of b's okay now for this if we are going to draw a push down automata in that case of in that push down automata what what can happen initially the stack will be empty z not the first symbol can be a or the first symbol can be b we don't know it can be anything for example here the first symbol is a but here the first symbol is b here the first symbol is a but here the first symbol is b we can have the first symbol as a or as b any any of them can be the first symbol so what we are going to do is we are going to put that first symbol onto the stack for example if you have a random string like this a b b b a b a a and so on right here number of a's are uh, four and number of b's are four now we are going to put that first symbol onto the stack for example the first symbol is a so we are going to put that first symbol onto the stack and then we are going to read the second symbol now if the second symbol is also a then you can push that a onto the stack but if that second second symbol is b then you can put that uh, you can pop that a with b that means you are going to compare the a and b so the second symbol is b you are going to pop this a with this b now stack is empty and the third symbol is b if the third symbol is b and stack is containing z not then uh, you can there's no a is obviously so how will you compare the best way is put this b onto the stack put this b onto the stack again the second symbol is b double stack is containing b again put this b onto the stack now the next symbol is a now because we get op opposite symbol see if we have a same symbol then we are pushing them if we have a opposite symbol then we are popping so the next symbol is a so with this a i'm going to pop this b next symbol is b because we are getting a b and all stack is containing b we are going to push this b next symbol is a again there is a a and this there is a b so these are opposite symbol so we are going to put this a push uh, sorry we, we are going to pop this b with this a again the next symbol is a top of stack is containing b that means there is a opposite symbol so we are going to pop this b the next symbol is epsilon that means the string is finished if the string is finished and the top of the stack is containing z not therefore what you can do is uh, you are going to accept it so here in this case i'm only going to accept if the stack is containing empty uh, empty string the empty symbols that means stack is empty and stack is not containing anything therefore this is called as acceptance by empty state or you can say acceptance by epsilon or you can say acceptance by empty stack okay so how can you draw it so initially how can you draw it initially uh, this is the initial state a this can be a final state because epsilon is there now if you get a if you get a single a and stack is containing z not then you are going to push it right so if you get a single a and the stack is containing epsilon 
sorry stack is containing z0 stack is containing z0 this is the stack it is containing z0 and the symbol is a like in the previous string right so here in this string the first symbol is a stack is containing z0 so therefore you push it so you are going to push a z0 onto the stack okay is the state b but if the first symbol was b instead of a if you get a string like this b a b b a so the first symbol is b so if the first symbol is b and stack is containing z0 again you are going to push this b onto the stack now after that if you get b stack is containing b then you are going to push it if you get a, a stack is containing a you are going to push it you are going to push it so this is a you are going to push it and if and if you get a b stack is containing a pop it if you get a, a stack is containing b pop it after that if the stack is empty and you get a epsilon then you leave it z0 and you accept it okay so what does it mean initial state is a initial state is a if the first symbol is small a first symbol is small a and stack is containing z0 then you are pushing this a onto the stack right so you are pushing this a onto the stack but if you get a small b so here if you get a small b and stack is containing z0 you are pushing that b onto the stack now we are going to check what is the second symbol we are going to check what is the second symbol if the second symbol is an opposite symbol like for example here we have an opposite symbol if you have an opposite symbol obviously we are going to pop it and we can have any number of opposite symbols but if we have a same symbol for example here if the second symbol is also a then we are going to push it now after the, all this pushing and popping popping if the stack is empty then we are going to leave it empty and we are going to accept it because number of a's are equal to the number of p's stack will not be empty at any case if number of a's are not equal to the number of p's so here in this case we are only checking whether a's and b's are equal or not a's and b's are equal or not and this is acceptance by an empty stack or you can say acceptance by an empty right uh, empty stack and acceptance by epsilon uh, transition okay not epsilon transition is actually uh, we'll see that don't worry so now for this we can give a delta function we can give a delta function what is the delta function is delta if you are at state a delta if you are at state a you see a symbol a and stack is containing z0 then you are going to state b and you are putting a z0 onto the stack right you are going to state b and you are putting a z0 onto the stack second if you are at state a you get a symbol b top of the stack is containing z0 then you will go to the state b you put b z0 onto the stack again if you are at state b top of the stack is containing uh, you are seeing a symbol a and top of the stack is containing a so you are going to remain at state b and you are going to push it again if you are at state b top of the stack is containing b and you are seeing a symbol b so you again you are going to push it again if you are at state b top of the stack is containing b but you are seeing a symbol a then you are going to pop it if you are at state b top of the stack is containing a but you have a different symbol then again you are going to remain at state b and you are going to pop it after that if you see epsilon and there is a z0 then you remain make it z0 you make it z0 leave it z0 uh, that is on state c you are seeing a symbol epsilon and then you will remain at state c and you will accept it you will remain at state c and you will accept it you will accept it okay that that can be seen okay there is no problem now here can you reduce or can you minimize the number of states 
because we we drew the number of states as three can you represent the same push down automata with minimum number of states can you represent the same push down automata with minimum number of states is it possible yes it is possible and we can draw it uh, we can draw it so we'll be seeing at later point of time how you can do it i let, let me do it let me do one thing so let me actually draw it how can you uh, you know uh, minimizes or you can say what is the minimum number of states you can have for this same push down automata okay so in the previous example we have seen a push down automata for the above language now number my question is can you minimize that push down automata to get minimum number of states obviously yes you can do it how can you do it see uh, initial state is a if there is a symbol a stack is containing z not then push it onto the stack there's a symbol b stack is containing z not then push it onto the stack if there's a symbol a stack is containing a then push it onto the stack if there's a symbol b stack is containing b then push it onto the stack if there's a symbol a stack is containing b pop it if there's a symbol b stack is containing a pop it and then as soon as you get epsilon stack is containing z not leave it z not and you accept it and you accept it yes yes it is smaller it is accepting the same language check any string any string you like for example if you have a string b a a b right and this is a stack stack is initially containing z not any string from this language you can take any string your example your choice okay the first symbol is b stack is containing z not b stack is containing z not you are going to push it so pushed it next symbol is a next symbol is a stack is containing b next symbol is a stack is containing b you are going to pop it done next symbol is again a stack is containing z not symbol is a stack is containing z not push it done next symbol is b stack is containing a so if the symbol is b and stack is containing a so obviously you are going to pop it simple so you are going to pop it sorry you are going to pop it like this no need fine and after that stack is containing z not and string is already completely ended so we are going to accept it okay this is very simple i think there's no there's no confusion in this case let me know if you have any confusion regarding this so we'll take more examples related to push down automatas fine